Hi, my name is Erhan Kartoltepe, and I'm the Associate Director and Chief Architect for the Institute for Cybersecurity at UTSA. And one of the companies we have in incubation is Safe Mashups. And in particular, what we're here doing at the RSA conference is introducing the Mash SSL standard, which is a protocol that uh, essentially solves the concern of mashups. So right now, mashups are very popular, or they're becoming popular, but they're very insecure because you don't know who is on the other side of the browser. Now, one way to solve that sort of authentication problem is to look back at what was done 10 years ago, say with uh, the web. Before you gave your credit card information online, you used SSL. SSL is a two-party protocol that's point-to-point -point that runs on the transport layer, which is where um, application layer security such as uh, HTTP is on top of. So our approach was to take uh, there's two choices. One is to create a new technology or a new approach which would take years to get from the drawing board to, 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 to utility, which is not a case or not something we want to do with mashups. Or we could take an existing technology such as SSL, which is a proven security and cryptography, and move that to what we can use for mashups, which means take it to a three or multi party protocol on the application layer. So, Mash SSL does precisely that. It takes two servers that communicate through a browser and runs Mash SSL protocol back and forth, which is identical to SSL. The same SSL messages, the same abbreviated SSL messages to take advantage of the cryptography you know, uh, economy there. And run it not just in the browser, so no transferring of master secrets or anything like that. They build up both secrets, uh, they build up master secret on each side of the server, on both servers. Uh, regardless of whether the browser is trusted or not, at the end of the exchange, a mash SSL connection is created. One connection between server A and server B via the browser, and then at that point, uh, messages can be sent back and forth, knowing who's on the other side. So in other words, we've taken a, uh, a protocol that has everything we're looking for, and we've made it multi-party, only authenticating server A and server B. It doesn't matter if there's one or many browsers in between, nor do we care that we trust them. And moving it to the application layer, so that we can take advantage of the ability to move, make us move that data from point A to point B via the browser.